Well, this morning I decided to make a little short video about why I don't use camera backpacks and camera bags. I really don't like them. And uh, I'd like to show you why and what the alternative is. When I started making videos three or four years ago, I didn't have much gear, but I wanted a camera bag. I certainly didn't need anything expensive like a Peter McKinnon or a Peak Design. I didn't have that much stuff, but I wanted something. So I tried a National Geo backpack uh, camera bag. It was really cheap and uh, I really didn't like it. It kind of ruined camera bags for me forever, I guess. I didn't like the little Velcro things. They were a lot of trouble. Uh, I didn't like the straps that hang off. I didn't really like anything about it. Plus, every time I went out, I took different stuff and I'd have to reconfigure the bag. I didn't like that either. So I looked for something else. All my gear and gadgets comes in little, little bags or like this uh, microphone that comes in a semi-hard case or I can buy little bags for them. My audio recorder's in a smartphone bag. All these little bags are either protecting the equipment or they're padding the equipment. So I really haven't had any problem uh, with damaging any equipment no matter what I do. Unless I drop it. I like these little individual bags because I can carry the gear that goes with that particular item in the bag. It makes for an easy carry and it makes it easy to find things. Even my gimbals and things will fit in these little bags. Well, I finally found exactly what I needed at a tool store in Saigon. I found some tool bags that were really stiff canvas material, uh, waterproof, and had lots of different compartments and pockets. And they came in a lot of different sizes, too. I really like these because when I go out to shoot, I can just throw the items I need in a bag. And I can pick a bag that isn't too big to carry. It fits the gear. I really like that better than a backpack. I've got a bunch of these bags. I think I've got six, maybe seven of them. Uh, all different sizes. I have a couple of bags I use mostly for audio. I have others that I use when I'm carrying around a gimbal or a camera support equipment, like a monopod or a tripod, things like that. Of course, you can't put a big tripod in one, but you can certainly put a travel or a tabletop tripod in one. These things are just really handy. I don't have to mess with that Velcro stuff. Man, you just don't know how much that irritates me. Overall, the solution for me has been really good. I just grab the gear I'm gonna take for the shoot that I'm gonna make and then put it in the bag. The bag will be the right size because I have many sizes of bag. So I really think this solution has been pretty good. I just grab the things that I need to take on the shoot. I find a bag that fits it and head out. I really like it. I don't have to carry things that I don't need. I don't have to reconfigure the bags. It just works. And in all this time, nearly three or four years of traveling and flying and everything with my gear, never had anything damaged. So overall, I'd say it's a good working solution. Also, it doesn't look like a camera bag, so people aren't trying to steal it. That's another really good benefit of these little bags. This is JR, the TechSpat on the go. Just trying to show you how I get my stuff to go with me. Thanks for watching.